Stevie Johnson's second round win over Borna Chorich is one of the most powerful and moving moments of the tennis year. One day after the match, I had the opportunity to spend a little time with him to discuss his emotions over the last three weeks. Talk about the influence your dad had on your tennis career from the beginning until now. Um, he had such a huge impact. You know, he was, you know, my coach pretty much my entire life. Him and my mom, you know, put me into tennis. That's, you know, where they found each other long ago. You know, ever since I was a kid, I've always enjoyed playing tennis. I've never felt that it was pushed upon me or forced upon me. You know, it was something that I, I always wanted to do. I always wanted to play tennis. And when that time, you know, came where tennis wasn't enjoyable, which was few and far between, you know, I stepped away and, you know, would play other sports for a while. So, but, you know, his influence was, was very huge, you know, even at such a young age. I've always known you to be someone that has great perspective on life outside of tennis and you come into a Grand Slam event, these are the most important uh, our sport has. Has this helped kind of put tennis as a secondary priority? You know, it just puts in perspective really. I mean, tennis is its a game that I love to play. And, you know, it's a, it's a sport that my, you know, my dad and I shared, so it's such a close bond with. Um, but, you know, win or lose, draw, it doesn't matter, you know, I just want to be what he taught me to be is just a competitor um, to, to respect you know my opponent to respect you know the game and just go out there and give it my all and, and whatever happens happens and just be okay with the results as they come. Does your mind during matches ever wander and if it does does it keep you calm or does it get you away from the match? It goes both ways kind of going in and out of you know the X's and O's and what I needed to accomplish and then you know I'll sit on a changeover and you know, my mind will just wander, and then a few games later, it's you know, it's still wandering. You know, and you have all these thoughts that really aren't necessarily about tennis uh, going through your head, and it comes and goes. But uh, I always know that uh, I can always look up and, and know that he's looking down, proud, and, and knowing that I'm, you know, doing the best that I can. Yeah, you had quite a battle in your second round match. Do you try to channel that those emotions to really help you and get you through the tough moments on the court? Yeah, uh, I think that was very important for me. You know, I, I had no idea what emotions were, were going to happen after I won. It just kind of hit me as soon as I hit that forehand. And I knew it was, it, the point was over. My body just kind of just broke down. I mean, I just knew that, uh, you know, that's something if he would have been able to watch and, and see that he would have been so proud of. So, uh, you know, after the match, the emotions really kind of hit the best of me. How's the support been in the locker room? I mean, everybody's been so positive, really. You know, their words, you know, just checking in and making sure everything's okay is, it really means a lot and it just shows that, you know, win, lose on a tennis court is so irrelevant when it comes to life and family and, you know, we all have each other's backs when it comes to these, you know, these trying times and even, even the happy times. Well, we at the Tennis Channel want to let you know our condolences are with you and you're a part of our Tennis Channel family and, you know, Steve Johnson Sr.'s legacy lives on through the way you live your life, so thank you for doing that. Thank you, guys.